Story time. So one day I woke up and had this idea to go to my friend's house, so I got out of bed and went to go ask my dad. And he said yes. So we got in the car and we were off. On the road again. So we got there and my friend Nate and his big brother Terry were outside. I said bye to my dad and we went inside. They then told me about this crazy guy, the Ding Dong Ditch. They said we should. No way. They said he got so mad. But after so much convincing, I agreed. Peer pressure. Jeez. They then started to go over the rules such as where to meet because we could not go home or he could get us in big trouble or worse. So I borrowed a bike and we were on our way. Are you sure this is legal? Yes. We finally got to the house and it was scary. It literally looked like an old witch lived in here. What now? My friend Nate and his brother both stared at me. I knew what it meant. Dare you to do it? No way. Do it. No. Do it. Okay. So I walked up to his door. By the way, it was glass so you could see through it. Right when I was close to the door, I tripped. And when I looked up, it was the most ugly thing I've seen in my life. I was so scared I sprinted down the driveway to behind a truck that was parked in front of his house. But Nate and Terry were still in front of the house. The guy came out and was cussing at us. He was like, this is a bunch of bull crap. But he didn't say crap. He kept calling us bad names and my friend took it like a champ. Yo, sir. Then he was like, I saw your friend run behind the truck too. Then that's when my heart started to beat out of my chest. He went back inside and I sprinted right towards my friends. We stayed outside and talked for a little bit. But about five minutes later, he came back out. But only Nate noticed him. Nate, let me tell you, he was out of there. Like, he did. For about five minutes, we kept talking, and then I was like, where's Nate? Then we noticed him getting in his truck. We drove as fast as we could with him following us. About a mile of running, I took a left into a ditch. We actually saw Nate at the other side. Apparently, at the other side of this ditch was the place we were supposed to meet up at. And in about 30 minutes of waiting, we went back home, and we were safe. Also, look at all the paper I used for this. Look how much, like, I only used two pieces. Well, see ya.